Okay, my ears are ringing and my camera is about to overheat, so we're gonna hope for the best for this video, but I don't know how well it's gonna turn out. Hello guys, what is up? I'm wearing merch because I feel like I can't film this video if I'm not wearing merch. I feel like I'm like lying to you guys if I'm not wearing concert merch, so here I am. Shawn Mendes, I miss you dude. It's been just over a year and may I say, I freaking miss you man, a lot. Anyways, what is up? If you clicked on this video, chances are you either like going to concerts or would like to go to concerts. And with that being said, I'm here to help you guys find the tickets in the easiest way possible with SeatGeek. I'm lying. I mean, SeatGeek is one of the things I'm going to be talking about, but this video is not sponsored by SeatGeek. I wish it was. SeatGeek, if you're watching this and would like to sponsor me, my email is down below. Hit me a quick email and I will 100 cents, you know, promote you for the rest of my goddamn life. I already am promoting you and you're literally not paying me anything. Like, I don't need money. All I want is, like, concert tickets. Like, all I want is, like, a voucher for, like, you know, a show or two, you know? That would be nice, you know? Feed my obsession a bit, but anyway, so if you click on this, then you're probably wanting to know how to get free tickets. Well, I'm going to tell you that, but I'm also going to tell you how to get discounted tickets because not going to lie, I'm not going to sit here and drag you guys along for the whole video. The majority of you guys are not going to be able to get free tickets every single time, and these methods are not going to work every single time. Doesn't mean they're never going to work, and doesn't mean they're not impossible to work, but definitely the easiest way to get a concert ticket is to buy them. So, I'm going to be telling you guys on how to get discounted tickets as well as getting them for free. If you want to hear about how to get like face value tickets and like how to get good seats and all that kind of stuff, I am going to be doing a video on them in the future on how to get like the best front row seats through Ticketmaster, through like pre-sales and whatever. That's not this video. Today we're talking about discounts because we like to save money in this house. So the first thing, like I said, I'm going to talk about SeatGeek, but I'm also going to talk about StubHub and other things like that. Actually, those are the only ones I use. So SeatGeek and StubHub are both platforms that you can buy tickets through resale people. So you can buy them through other fans. There also are some people that, you know, they're scalpers. They like to buy tickets and sell them at a higher value, but like we don't buy those tickets here. We buy face value or below, like that's all we do, and we get discount codes. So SeatGeek, if you're watching this, stop watching at this point. I'll, com I'll promote you, but like, what I'm about to say you might not want to hear. So basically, SeatGeek and StubHub are both sites that you can post tickets on there to sell them for resale for whatever price you want to post them for. If a concert is sold out or is close to being sold out or is a very, very popular ticket or high, you know, value ticket, it might be a little bit more expensive, but that doesn't mean it's not going to go down in price. The sellers who post the tickets on the sites are allowed to change the prices whenever they want. I mean, maybe not whenever they want. I've only posted tickets once, but people who post the tickets are allowed to change their prices, especially when they get closer to the date. They tend to do this a lot. So if you go on there, the concert's sold out, you really want tickets, but they're really expensive, hold on, like don't worry about it, there's going to be another chance. In the rare slim chance that tickets do sell out and there's none posted for resale, keep a watch in that. You can always put like a watch on the apps itself so you can say, you know, set your price range, set your amount of tickets, set all your stuff. So when tickets do become available, they will contact you and you'll get an alert on the app and that way you'll be able to go on and purchase the tickets then. Basically, the platforms are, you know, you can post them for whatever price you want. Oh my god, my camera's about to overheat. What did I say? All right, so I realized that the quality got really, really, really bad, and I was trying to let my camera cool down, and it just won't turn on now. This is my little camera. I normally have it on this tripod, but it's, like, flashing really fast and won't turn on, and, um... So that's fun. So I'm gonna continue this video on my laptop. I got a new laptop, so I actually have storage on it. I would film on my phone, but my phone has no storage, so it's my laptop or nothing, so... But anyways, um, back to what I was saying. I don't really remember what I was saying, but basically, StubHub, SeatGeek, all those kind of things. We're just going to jump into the part that matters. I feel like I was rambling about random stuff. Basically, if you purchase them through there, make sure you use a promo code. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say, use code Jessica for 20 or $20 off your first purchase, because SeatGeek never gave me a code, because once again, they are not sponsoring this video. But I do have a friends and family referral code, and I mean, I would greatly appreciate it. I'm not going to, like, sit here and be like, just, like, you know, do it, you know, because you'll get money off. Not only would it help me out if you use my code, it would also help you out. Because when you, you know, I think it's, like, $10 I get. When you use my code, you get $20 off, and then when someone else uses my code, I get $10 off. So it's, like, a win-win situation. Seeky gets you $20, and they give me $10. And it's, like... I need some help feeding my concert obsession, so if you want to hook me up and help me out and use my code, I mean, it's the same as, like, using David Dobrik's or whatever, but, like, David has enough money to buy a Tesla, I don't, so, you know, use my code. Link is in the description. Friends and family referral one, and you get $20 off your first purchase, so there's that. And the part where I was saying that SeatGeek don't watch this if you, you know, are watching this, it's because here's the thing. You get $20 off your first purchase. You have your account, you make your first purchase, bingo. That's you. So the friends that you go with, Every single friend that you have 
they can purchase and get $20 off using the same code. Your mom, your dad, your brother, your aunt, your uncle, your grandma, your grandpa, anybody who you know can create an account. And it's fantastic when you have more than one email. I'm just gonna leave it at that. There's one per person, but you know, I have a middle name. Maybe I go by my middle name. I don't know, it's not one per household. So I'm just gonna leave that there. You can do with that information with what you want. So that's that. So yeah, for SeaGeek StubHub, definitely always use a code as well as when you use those sites, I would keep a look on them because I know a lot of times for those kind of sites, tickets are so dirt cheap day of the show. I've had times where I've literally been inside a venue and looked at tickets and it's like, I can get $300 tickets for $30. And not only that, it's $30 plus I get my $20 off. I can literally get a $300 ticket for $10. So make sure you keep a look on that. Make sure about a month before the show is, depending on the show obviously, but about a month before I would definitely look at it every couple days or so. And then the week leading up to the show, if you haven't purchased tickets yet, you haven't found any that you like or any other price that you would like to pay, definitely keep checking back because chances are at the week before the show, people start to go into panic mode. Oh my God, I haven't sold my tickets. Oh my God, I'm gonna be out $300. Let me just blow them out. If I can get $20 for the tickets, at least I get $20 over getting zero. So that's my best advice when it comes to that kind of stuff. I also wanna talk about smaller venues. So I know a lot of times the smaller venues, they sell tickets at the door and they also sell tickets online. Super, super simple to get discounted tickets is to buy them in advance. Advanced tickets tend to be $10, $20 cheaper depending on the venue and depending on the artist and depending on the actual price of the ticket. But a lot of times you can get a $30 ticket for $20 or $15 if you buy it online ahead of time opposed to buying it at the door. So definitely just make sure you do a little bit of research beforehand, look at them, and sometimes they do sell out if you buy online, so make sure you snag those tickets right away because a lot of times with those smaller artists, they're not going to be posting them on SeaGeek and StubHub and stuff. You can always check into that, but chances are artists that are typically not gonna sell out and in general people aren't gonna post their tickets on there because they're not gonna buy them unless they know they can go because they know that the artist isn't gonna sell out so do your research look in advance and you'll be good to go the last thing for like discounted tickets which it definitely does depend on the venue and the artist and a ton of different variables definitely something to look into though is to go through radio stations this does tend to be more for a festival type thing but sometimes you can get different type tickets different like pre-sale price tickets if you go through like radio stations or through different companies like that a lot of times radios have a certain allotment of tickets that they want to sell through their site and they sell it to you at a discounted price because it's the radio exclusive tickets and it you know it's a special area or whatever it might be special pre-sale so definitely check your just like Definitely check your local radio stations when it comes to that kind of stuff. It's as simple as doing a quick Google search of searching the artists, searching, you know, why don't we Vancouver tickets and seeing what pops up and sometimes they'll be, you know, this radio station is gonna be posting for this or whatever, you know, stuff like that. So definitely take a look at that kind of stuff because you never know what you might find. Moving on to the part where I know we're all wanting to hear about is free tickets. Let me see if my camera will turn on. We're gonna finish off this video on my laptop. I was gonna switch back over to my camera, but it doesn't look like it's gonna be turning on anytime soon. So once again, I do apologize. If you are new here to my channel, I don't typically film on my laptop. This is actually the first time I filmed a full video on my laptop since like 2017, 2016. So that's great. But anyways, free tickets. I know the thing that we've all been waiting for and there's only a few different ways to get free tickets. And like I said, it is definitely luck of the draw, but it's also about just thinking smart. So I know y'all probably already know about this, but the easiest and best way to get free tickets is through radio stations. A lot of radio stations get a certain allotment of tickets. It could be two sets of two or two sets of four or four sets of two or however many they are, you know, given. And they're allowed to do their own little contests and giveaways with those tickets. A lot of local radio stations do this for some like middle kind of artists ranging up to very, very big artists. Chances of you being able to win tickets for a smaller artist are kind of unlikely because chances are they're not partnering up with a radio station to give any away, but definitely ranging from the middle range from like a, you know, Orpheum amphitheater kind of size venue all the way up to a stadium, you can get tickets through radio stations. Your best bet is to look on their social media pages as well as their website in order to find these things. If you go on their Twitter or their Instagram or their website, chances are they posted some sort of link or some sort of rules regarding, you know, the giveaway or whatever it might be. Personally, I have gotten Shawn Mendes tickets through a radio station and it was a contest they did where you called in and you had to give them a good answer. To avoid just like sitting there listening to the radio station all day, definitely check, like I said, the socials on the website because chances are they're going to post them say, make sure you listen at 7 a.m. and 2 p.m. today to give away tickets for this artist. So you'll definitely- Haha, <laughs> my brand new laptop about 48 hours ago just froze on my face. So 
that's great. Basically, what I was saying is that chances are they're going to be posting something online prior to, you know, you having just to sit there and listen. So make sure you check those things out so you're not just sitting there all day listening to the radio station. I mean, if you want to, go ahead. But it saves you from wasting your entire day when, who knows, they might not even give them any away. The next way to get free tickets is through contests. Now, these contests, like I said, could be through radio stations, but they could also be through other people like Walmart or whoever it might be. Again, your best possible way to find these is just doing a little bit of research. If you go onto social media and you search, you know, why don't we, or Shawn Mendes tickets or whoever it might be, Vancouver, like Shawn Mendes Vancouver tickets, and you search that in Twitter or you search it on Instagram and do a little search or you do it on Google, that is your best way to find tickets. When the concert gets announced, start looking about 24 hours later, maybe not even that long. Radio stations tend to have the first knowledge and the first know of when a tour is gonna be announced. And sometimes they even know about the tour before it gets announced. Chances are they have tickets before it even gets announced. They have it all arranged. They have a little inside scoop. So definitely search about within 24 hours later kind of thing. And you can see all the way leading up to the week before the show. Keep searching Google, Instagram, Twitter, all that stuff to try and see if any companies are giving away any tickets. And your best bet is just to enter them all. Enter every single contest you find, enter everything, enter with your email, your mom's email, your best friend's email, your cousin's email, whoever. Make sure you read the fine print though because sometimes you do have to be like 18 or go with a guardian. So make sure you check into that because if you're like a 16 year old and you win the tickets, then you're gonna have to go with your mom. So make sure like you're all aware of that before you get the tickets because there are certain rules with some of the kind of stuff which is kind of crazy and stupid sometimes, not gonna lie, but Definitely make sure you read the fine print. I mean, none of us ever read the terms and conditions. I'm not gonna sit here and say that I do because I never do, but definitely make sure you look. It's gonna be like the first little bit of it. Chances are about like 18 years or parents consent or with a guardian or whatever it might be. So just do like the 30 seconds of reading and you'll find out the actual information. Also look into certain things because sometimes you can enter once per day. So definitely take that advantage of entering every single day. The more entries you get, the better it could be. Not only that, if you can get other people to enter for you and say, if I win, I'm gonna give you my tickets. It doesn't always work. Like I said, read the fine print to make sure you don't pick them up at the show the day of, because then chances are the person would have to be there with you or get a name change, which is most of the time possible but definitely look into that before you do it because if they were to win then it's like, well now you have to go with me or I have to go with you. And that's just not always fun. Like sometimes it's like if my brother were to win, I'm not going to why don't we contest with my younger brother? Like that's not gonna happen. So we gotta do a name change real quick. But yeah, definitely look at companies and radio stations and everything like that. Just search on Google and you can find stuff there. And the last way that I'm gonna talk about, I mean, there are a couple other ways. There's certain websites and there's certain things that you can kind of get in the know. And no, I'm not gonna say sneak in. I mean, people do and it is a possibility, but I'm not gonna sit here and give you tips to sneak into a concert. I don't think that's right because then it's like all the other people that are paying to go to the show, that's not really fair. You don't have a ticket, what if you're in someone else's seat? Like I've had people in my seats before and I'm like, mm, you're in balcony, get out of here. I paid the money for these tickets, you didn't, bye bye. But yeah, so the last way that I wanna talk about is you can just show up at the venue the day of the show without a ticket and just Hope for the best. A lot of times you can show up at the venue the day of without tickets and you can either, like I said before, buy them on StubHub super, super cheap, like right at the show time, or there sometimes are some people outside selling or giving them away. There's been a few times where people have been outside venues and they have an extra ticket because their friend canceled on them or someone's sick or they, you know, bought too many or whatever the situation might be. They might've bought a better seat at the show or like there's so many different like variables of why this could happen. But a lot of times, people tend to give away tickets. It's not gonna be every single show guaranteed and it's not necessarily gonna be the best seats, but it's a ticket and it's a seat and it's an opportunity to try and go to the show for free with an actual legitimate ticket. I would definitely look for some sort of proof of the ticket, especially if you're paying a very small amount. There's been a few times where I've like, pay $20 for a ticket like the day of the show, but make sure you look at, you know, the proof before you give them any money. You can get a highly discounted ticket this way, but make sure it's legitimate before you're just giving money away to some stranger who, you know, could just be ripping you off. So make sure you're definitely safe about that situation. Well, now my camera stopped flashing. Oh, <gasps> it turned on. Ha ha ha. Yeah, make sure you are checking proof, but yeah, just show up at the menu and hope for the best and be nice to people. And like I said, you never know. 
You could be waiting in a GA line without a ticket and just be waiting there and the person in front of you could buy a new seat and you know, they have an extra one. So there you go, you can have my ticket because I bought, you know, the lower pit instead of the higher pit or whatever it might be. So there's, you know, the, always that opportunity. And even if you don't get tickets to the show, it's fun just to be there and be in the atmosphere and you never know what might happen. A lot of times there are promoters and reps and people from the crew that do go outside. And like I said, this isn't gonna happen at every show and this isn't 100% guaranteed. But there are quite a few times where people from their crew go outside with the extra tickets that weren't sold and they give them away to fans that don't have tickets. All you guys who've seen the Justin Bieber documentaries, which I mean, if you haven't, like what are you doing with your life? Like I've seen those more times than I could probably count, but they give away tickets the day of the show and they give them out to fans who look deserving, who look like they wanna to go to the show, but either can't afford it or weren't able to get tickets or whatever the situation might be. So definitely just, you know, hang out and hope for the best and you never know what might happen. Hanging out by the back door never hurts. Make sure you're safe about it because sometimes the back door is like in a sketchy alleyway. I'm not trying to give like these young girls advice to like hang in a back alleyway in a sketchy area because like that's not a good idea. But as long as you're safe about it and as long as you're with some other people who you trust and you know, you guys feel safe and you know you're safe, then you know, it doesn't hurt hanging out by the back door just hoping for the best after the show starts or like closer to showtime. Like I said, you never know what might happen. Honestly, the best possible way to get tickets at either discounted or for free is just to have a good positive attitude. Stay optimistic and just stay on top of your stuff. Research and look into different things. Like I said, I know Justin gives out tickets because Scooter gives out tickets, which means, you know, Ariana Grande and other artists that Scooter manages might have the same sort of situations. A lot of these things are kept on the down low. People don't tend to necessarily tweet about it or spread it like wildfire because it is something that is kind of secret. All these, you know, 10,000 people in this venue might have paid for the ticket and you got it for free. And so they don't wanna really spread that out there because it's gonna kind of make them feel like, why did I do this when I could have gotten in for free and kind of could make them potentially angry, which is never a good situation to be in. You never wanna make people angry just for going to a show because it's like, no. So definitely don't be the kind of person that's gonna sit there and be like, I got in for free, you didn't, ha ha ha, I got a $300 ticket. Like, no, like don't ever do that. Like that's just rude and uncalled for and unnecessary. But yeah, definitely just be optimistic and show up and just hope for the best. And like I said, even if you don't have a ticket and even if you don't end up going to the show, it's always nice just to like hang out at the venue and meet new friends and stuff because like, you never know. But yeah, that's it. I think that's all the tips I have on how to get either discounted or free tickets. If you have anything else and you wanna share it with people, definitely leave it down below and I'll be pinning any comments or even making a comment of my own and pinning all the ones, or pinning that one with all the ones that you guys say so you guys can see them all. If you guys have any, I mean, I don't know if you have it. Those are all the ones I have. But with that being said, I'm going to head off. I need to go and try and fix my camera because this is not right. It should not be overheating. It is a little vlog camera. It literally should not be overheating for filming video, but yet here we are once again with a camera that is not cooperating and that just kind of sums up my life. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you like it, make sure we get a big thumbs up and comment down below any video suggestions you may have as well as any of those other, you know, tips or tricks for anybody else if you want or have any. I'd really appreciate it if you subscribed. I'm really striving to make my channel grow this year. You know, this whole quarantine thing. I'm just, I really want to hit 5k and you know, maybe one day. So with your guys' help and support, maybe I'll get it. So thank you. And I love you all already in advance. Also, I do have my Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok link down below. So if you want to check me out on any other things for more content or just fun little rambly things on Twitter, definitely go do that. I post on TikTok, TikTok? I post on TikTok, oh my God. I post on TikTok daily. So if you wanna see daily content, definitely check that out. I also post on here twice a week. So definitely check this out, subscribe, stay tuned and turn on post notifications. Try and post at like 8 a.m. every Tuesday and Friday. I'm not going to say I'm gonna do that every single week 100% because you never know what is gonna happen. And when I decide that my mental health is going to plummet once again, because you know, that happens. I'm here and I'm doing okay and I'm just hoping cons will start back up soon. And yeah, I'm like drooling. What is wrong with me? This is why I can't have nice things. Anyways, thank you guys. I'm gonna stop filming now because I've literally been talking for like half an hour, which is not what I wanted to do today. No wonder why my camera overheated because I literally can't stop talking. This is what happens when I'm home alone. I get bored, but thank you guys for watching. I'll talk to you later. Peace out. I love you all. And I hope to see you at a concert one day soon. Woo. Also check out my Seeky code. Thank you. Goodbye. I love you. It's first line in the description. Goodbye.